We're talking to Audrey manager Neil Tolson after the 4-0 victory over Aldershot uh, Town. Altrigham's uh, second victory since the 21st of uh, November and Neil's uh, first match in charge here at the J. Davidson uh, Stadium. Neil, it, it couldn't really have gone much better for you uh, this afternoon. No, no, it's, uh, it's a great day for the football club. Uh, we're delighted and everything that we've worked on this week in training, uh, defending, keeping clean sheets. Uh, I'm, to be perfect, I'm more, I'm, I'm more happy with, with the clean sheet. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm happy obviously before, but if it was 1-0, uh, it proves that everything that we've done this week has, has been worthwhile. A little bit of a quiet start to the game. Aldershot possibly had the better of the early stages without really causing any problems, but gradually we started to uh, move through the gears, and before the first goal came, there were signs that we were getting our game together. I, th I think it did us good the, for the first 10-15 minutes, because we, we've tried to change things slightly around. We, have, we haven't we ain't sat here, uh, I'm going to say we've invented the wheel because we haven't. We've just tried to uh, give players a little bit more responsibility in certain areas. And I think the, the confidence grew with it within the back four and obviously it spread throughout the team. So, yeah, the first 15 minutes was important that we didn't concede and that the players actually bought into what we're trying to do in a game scenario. Um, and after that, and I've said it to them in training on Tuesday, I said it to them last Saturday. I said, I have not got an issue with us going forward. We will create problems for other teams with the players that we've got. We just have to make sure we stop conceding goals. And uh, yeah, after the first 15 minutes, I felt quite as comfy as you possibly can do. It certainly seemed from my perspective that uh, it should have been a nailed on penalty for the foul. What looked like a blatant push on James Laurie. And that would have definitely seen all the shot down uh, to 10 men. And also, there's a very bad challenge by Nathan Ralph on Jordan Sinnott. I can't, obviously from where we were we couldn't see uh, we couldn't see the foul on, on Jordan but we're, we're, we're a nice nice football team and for all the players to go over into the corner it must have obviously been quite a bad challenge which to be fair the referee dealt with it and dealt with it quite well so uh, we, you know we've got no complaint and again the penalty it looked a penalty from where, where I was stood but you know if the referee's not in, not in the right position or he can't see it then unfortunately he can't give those decisions can he so um, we're not going to be greedy. I'm happy with the four, and you know, if they go down to ten men. It could change. They could end up putting men behind the ball. It could change the the, uh, the complexity of the game. So we're delighted with uh, with, with the, them staying on, and obviously we're working with the result. Now we have got the uh, first goal, and it may have been a shot from James Laurie, but it doesn't really matter. It was a decent effort, whether it was a cross or a shot, and it might have looked a routine finish. But that's a good finish from Damien Reeves. Great finish from uh, from Reeves. I thought his work rate today was was unbelievable. Uh, he never stopped running and um, you know he, he wanted to stand to the end but I like, uh, I like giving lads a little bit of a confidence boost. I thought he deserved a, a round of applause off the supporters today so um, that's why but we've been trying to work on Reeves to get him back to basics. Keep saying to him get across the knee man, get across the knee man because the, the Damien Reeves that scores 30 goals a season plus got across the front man regular so that's what we've tried to do and again something that we've been working on and training has, has paid off. Not necessarily the cross from Jimmy um, but obviously the movement from Reeves, and he's, he's got himself a well-deserved goal today. I think we deserved our first half uh, lead, but uh, we did run things a little bit, run, run things a little bit close in the latter stages of the first half. And Aldershot have had two or three uh, really good opportunities. Most notably, perhaps, fantastic cross from uh, Nathan Ralph from the last world class class cross. And uh, probably Pavey will be disappointed that he's not scored, but it was a good save by Tim Dees. Yeah, great save from Tim. Um, again, these are these are what we've actually mentioned at half time, in, you know, in the team talk. Um, we're disappointed with that. We're disappointed with those three or four minutes because they've had two or three chances, as you've said. And as I say, all week we've been working on not not giving teams chances, especially close to the goal. Um, and I can utilise that next week because I can say, well, these are chances that come from, from these areas and this situation. So look, it's worked for 42 minutes. We need to make sure that we do it for the next three minutes and see us see us over the line so that we're not giving away chances because sooner or later those chances will be at the back of the net and uh, what we're trying to do is build from the back, stop conceding goals and as I say the rest of the world would look after itself but yeah it was, it was a couple of great saves from Tim when we needed him as well. There's been a very special moment at the start of the second half, uh, Josh Ginelli's run 50-60 yards and then it, uh, you know, he's, <laughs> Great piece of play to create the opening, and then a very, very uh, calm uh, finish, and that's gone down a storm with everybody. Well, yes, it's we, we, we got the ball, and you're thinking, right, go on, be positive with her. <laughs> he's kept going, he's kept going, he's kept going, going to the edge of the box, saying, go on, go on, finish off. Unbelievable, unbelievable finish, and he's a special player. He's, he's got so much ability. 
Um, such a lovely lad, and he just wants to work, and he wants to he wants to improve as a footballer. I've got a lot a lot of time for for Josh, and I'm sure he's got a bright future in front of him. But that's what he can do. That's what he's that's what he's he's come to. He's come from obviously from Burnley, and he wants to learn his trade. And uh, you know, the, the people that was at the game today have actually seen a special moment because I don't think I've seen many goals that, where the players ran the distance that he's ran and actually finished it off himself. It was a special special moment. Third goal's come from the penalty spot and Omar Beckel seems to have panicked a little bit with a, a push uh, on James Laurie. Um, Phil Smith's got his hands, I think, to the penalty, but it was well struck. Yeah, he's, um, he's quite a confident player, he's JK, especially when it comes to penalties. He's, you know, he's stepped up and he's, he said he's confident. I always just say to him, just pick a spot, whether he puts it left corner, right corner or down the middle. I said, just be confident and hit it as hard as you can. And uh, that's what he's done. Luckily for us, he's gone in. And a pitcher goal, the fourth goal, once again, J Josh Ginelli has done well to get there, but then he's delivered a superb ball towards the uh, back end, or almost the edge of the penalty, a bit of a wonderful strike from Jordan Sinner. Yeah, technique was, was, was superb, and again, Jordan does this regular in training, his technique is, is second to none, he's superb. And I, I'm pleased for him, I really am, it's, um, you know, it's not been probably the easiest of... Ten days for him, and he's gone. He's gone and got me two goals. You know, world class uh, free kick last week, and he's finished today was superb. I'm delighted for him, and I've asked him to do a different job, a uh, different role. Um, you know, which I didn't uh, ten days ago. I didn't foresee him playing a little bit more advanced, but he's he's done a great job for us, and thoroughly, thoroughly deserves his two goals. I'm sure that. Uh Josh Ginelli will get the headlines and it has been a magnificent performance but there were some very good performances across the pitch I thought uh, Jake Malt was inspirational and really some good distribution work the fullbacks did really well Marcus Holness again once more but actually the player I thought got us going in this game for me was, was James Laurie I thought he's had a really really influential game and was, was everywhere right for the first 10 minutes he was and he is he's, um, you build teams around players like James Laurie um, naturally as, as natural left and right footy players I've ever seen. Um, great ability, great work rate. Um, you can you can see his energy. He rubs off on on the rest of the players as well. And you know if I can get James Laurie in the game regular, he's going to cause team problems because he does find clever areas. He does find pockets that are going to hurt teams. Um, but yeah, uh, it's imp I think it's virtually impossible to pick a player or a man of the match today because I, I can't fault any one of them. They've given me everything that, that, that I wanted and, and that we needed as a football club, so you know, well done to the players. We were desperate as a club for three points today, and we've got them, and it's made a big difference to the table. It's very, very tight down there, but uh, we are out of the relegation zone just at the minute, uh, ahead of uh, next Saturday's game at the Shea. Yeah, we, all we can do is keep giving ourselves a chance. You know, we're not gonna we're not gonna look look ahead. I I'm not one of these that's gonna sit down and do tables and say we need this, we need this. We need to give ourselves a chance in every game. And if we can keep picking up wins and keep picking up results and look after ourselves, then hopefully come come the end of April we're gonna have enough points on the board to stay up. In this game last season, uh, it was Chris Barker's first game in charge, and he was unfortunate enough to score the only goal in his own net. So fortunately, uh, things have gone much better for you in your first uh, home game this afternoon. Yeah, I'm delighted. Um, the supporters again have been been superb with me. Um, you know, it's it's a difficult time for everyone, but we've and I'll go back to it. We've all got to stick together, and we've got to rally round round the players and. I can't do it on my own, the supporters won't do it on their own and the players won't do it on their own. We've got to do it uh, collectively, we've got to do it together and as I say, come April the 30th, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have done enough together to still be in this division. That's Altringham manager Neil Tolson after the 4-0 victory over Aldershot Town, which has taken Altringham into 20th position in the Vanarama National League.